Welcome to the International Vaccine Institute. IVI is a nonprofit international organization with a mission to discover, develop, and deliver safe, effective, and affordable vaccines. Hosted by the Republic of Korea, IVI officially opened its headquarters in Seoul in 1997 with a mission focused on safeguarding the health of people living in low- and middle-income countries. Launched by the United Nations Development Program, our work supports the entire spectrum of vaccine discovery, development, and delivery for poverty-associated infectious diseases, and more recently for emerging diseases. We are an international organization with 39 countries and the World Health Organization as our members who inform every aspect of our work and help us stay focused on our mission. IVI operates four floors and 4,638 square meters of laboratories and research and experiments are being conducted in various places such as BSL-3, BSL-2, GCLP, and animal laboratories. IVI Science Unit consists of five research departments, three support departments that provide assistance for research execution, and one branch laboratory in Andong City, Gyeongsangbukdo. The five research departments are responsible for conducting all research activities of vaccine, ranging from vaccine candidate discovery to vaccine process development, preclinical efficacy evaluation, and immunological efficacy evaluation in clinical trials. At Vaccine Process Development Department, we develop vaccine manufacturing technologies to produce vaccines and transfer the know-how to vaccine manufacturers in developing countries. Until now, we have successfully developed and transferred manufacturing technologies for cholera and typhoid vaccines to manufacturers. Fermentation Laboratory is the starting place for vaccine antigen production. Antigens are produced as whole cell biomass, intracellular or extracellular components of cells. The lab develops a process to produce large quantities of crude antigens. The strains of pathogenic bacteria which causes diseases such as cholera, typhoid, paratyphoid, shigella, etc. are cultivated in bioreactors at BSL-2 biosafety levels for vaccine development. In bioreactors, the kinetics of growth and antigen production are observed under controlled conditions such as pH, dissolved oxygen, etc. The profiles of various parameters are displayed graphically on the computer screen. Know-how is recorded and documented. Once crude antigen is produced to the desired specification, the culture is harvested and sent to downstream processing laboratory where crude antigens are isolated and purified. In downstream purification lab, crude antigens are purified to homogeneity using various concepts of liquid-liquid separation, solid-liquid separation, and chromatography. It includes techniques and equipment exploiting the concepts of liquid-liquid separation and solid-liquid separation using centrifugation and membrane filtration. Purification of antigenic molecules, polysaccharides and proteins involves separation based on size, charge, hydrophobicity, and affinity by preparative fast liquid chromatography, acta avant. The desired proteins or polysaccharides are separated from a complex crude mixture. A quick qualitative and quantitative analysis of the purified component can be visualized as peaks on Unicorn software in real time. Samples of purified antigens are sent to the QC lab for quality evaluation. For conjugate vaccine development, purified antigens are sent to conjugation lab for further conjugation, purification, and analysis. In QC lab, the quality of purified antigens is evaluated for purity, identity, and residual impurities. Quality evaluation of vaccine antigens requires separation, calorimetric and immunological techniques using equipment such as high-pressure liquid chromatography, HPLC, spectrophotometer, and ELISA. The HPLC is used for both purity analysis and impurities profiling. Once the desired quality product is prepared, it is stored in a deep freezer for further studies. To improve the immunogenicity of polysaccharide vaccine, 
Conjugate Vaccine Lab develops conjugate vaccines by conjugation of bacterial polysaccharide antigen to carrier protein. In this lab, we carry out every stage of conjugate vaccine development, which includes early stage optimization, process development, determine vaccine product characteristics, and establish quality test methods. We also support technology transfer to vaccine manufacturers and chemistry, manufacturing, and control, CMC. Conjugate vaccine process development includes overall optimization of conjugation chemistry, reaction conditions, carrier protein selection, and purification steps suitable for polysaccharide protein conjugate. It also includes development of analytical methods to support the characterization and establish the quality of conjugate vaccines. Among few vaccines developed in this lab, Typhoid conjugate vaccine has been transferred to many vaccine manufacturers in India, Korea, Indonesia, and Bangladesh, contributing to the supply of typhoid fever vaccine to low- and middle-income countries where need for this vaccine is high. Invasive non-typhoidal salmonella infections and paratyphoid fever vaccines are also being developed with a polysaccharide conjugation technology, and the new vaccine candidates can enter clinical development stage through technology transfer to vaccine manufacturers. Molecular Immunology Lab is trying to develop vaccines against infectious diseases by exploring antigens, including a Shigella vaccine. Shigella causes serious diarrhea with more than 600,000 deaths annually worldwide and is a disease with a high incidence rate in low-income countries with poor sanitation especially in children under five years of age. To date, there is no approved vaccine. Molecular Immunology Lab is also conducting research to evaluate the immunogenicity of vaccines. For example, they participated in collaborative studies to establish WHO International Standard Immunoglobulin for MERS-CoV and SARS-CoV-2, including Korea National Standard Plasma for SARS-CoV-2. In addition, they support evaluating the immunogenicity of COVID-19 vaccine candidates by measuring binding antibodies in serum of clinical study participants by ELISA method. Molecular Immunology Lab also measures the neutralizing antibody response induced by vaccine candidates against highly pathogenic viruses such as Ebola, Crimean Congo hemorrhagic fever, Lassa fever, and Nipah virus using pseudovirus system. Pseudovirus Neutralization System can safely assess neutralizing efficacy of BSL-3 or BSL-4 level viruses without directly handling them, thereby efficiently accelerate vaccine development. At the Animal Research Lab, preclinical experiments are conducted to verify the efficacy of vaccines prior to clinical trials. Through animal experiment, the immune response of vaccine candidates against various viruses such as COVID-19, influenza, severe fever with thrombocytopenia virus, SFTSV, hantavirus, and human adenovirus is verified to evaluate vaccine efficacy. This process is an experiment to confirm the T-cell immune response induced by vaccine candidates when administered to animals. The blue dot that the researcher is observing on the screen is cytokines secreted from activated T immune cells, and the number of these dots is measured to evaluate the T cell immune response. The experiment shown in the video is to verify neutralizing antibodies produced in animal serum after administering the vaccine candidate. The researcher is observing the number of white plaques among blue stained cells. The less the number of plaques, the more neutralizing antibodies are produced, and these neutralizing antibodies play an important role in virus defense immunity. In addition to evaluating vaccine efficacy at the preclinical stage, the Animal Research Lab also produces and purifies material necessary for verifying the efficacy of vaccine candidates in animal experiments. The purified samples obtained through the equipment shown in the video are used in analytical experiments to verify various immune responses for confirming vaccine efficacy. Levels of BSL usually mean that pathogens with high risk are handled in the order of 1 to 4, and biosafety level 3 facilities handle pathogens that can cause serious but treatable diseases in humans. 
It is a controlled facility with airtight doors and having provision for filtered and directional airflow to protect people and the environment. In this BSL-3 facility, IVI staff has conducted projects for establishment of WHO International Standard Materials against MERS-CoV, Middle East Respiratory Syndrome Coronavirus, and SARS-CoV-2. Currently, IVI staffs are conducting various vaccine studies using not only Middle East Respiratory Syndrome and SARS-CoV-2, but also severe fever with thrombocytopenia syndrome virus and hantavirus in the ABSL-3. Clinical laboratory is a place where clinical samples from vaccine study are analyzed in terms of vaccine-induced immune responses. This is a certificate of good clinical laboratory practice accredited by the Ministry of Food and Drug Safety, MFDS Korea, and the regulation states since 2019 that all the analysis of clinical samples that are being analyzed in country must be done in a designated facility. The certificate shows that all the relevant requisites for clinical analysis, such as human resources, facilities, equipment, documents, etc., are being operated per regulation. Here we assess immunogenicity of bacterial vaccines such as cholera, typhoid, and non-invasive typhoidal salmonella. It is being assessed for functional antibody in human serum for a typhoid conjugate vaccine. It is an experiment to evaluate if it is possible for antibodies formed within the body to eliminate salmonella typhi after vaccination. The bactericidal or opsonophagocytic assays have been widely used for the immunogenicity of bacterial vaccines such as pneumococcal, meningococcal, and Hib vaccines. The plate is inserted for counting bacterial numbers and it will be used to determine bactericidal antibody levels. One of the main activities in Translational Immunology Lab is to measure titers of neutralizing antibodies formed in the body after vaccination. The researcher is comparing the numbers of formed foci generated from the virus-infected cell. Here is where we use system serology to evaluate the number of antibodies formed through vaccines and to conduct research to find important biomarkers that are induced by vaccines, such as antibody isotypes or subclasses, antibody-mediated immune functions by analyzing various characteristics. Biorepository is a place where clinical study samples for each analysis are stored. Since important samples are being stored, there is a security system that only allows authorized personnel to enter. Various types of test samples such as serum, PBMC, plasma, etc. are being stored in appropriate temperature equipment. The equipment is being maintained through 24-hour monitoring and if the temperature of the equipment goes out of the specified temperature range, a text message and call is made instantly to responsible personnel. The archive room is where important documents for each department within IVI are stored. There is a security system that only allows trained personnel to enter and there is a key for each cabinet in storage for security. Appropriate temperature and humidity are maintained, preventing infiltration of sunlight and insects, and thus prevent from damage to documents. IVI's archive room is a fireproof facility. Fire extinguishing equipment is equipped in the area, and there is a provision to send an alarm to the responsible person. We are saving lives through vaccines and the power of science. We share expertise and strengthen the scientific and manufacturing capabilities of all our partners to accelerate scientific development around the globe, to enable people all over the world to live healthier lives. IVI will continuously innovate and advance.